HyperCore is Scale Computing's hyperconverged operating system, purpose built for running VM workloads natively on HC series nodes. Similar to the hyperconverged functionality offered in Scale's legacy ICOS or ICOS technology, HyperCore combines servers, storage, and virtualization into a single, easy to use system for providing high availability for your VM workloads. HyperCore includes many of the same virtualization features of ICOS, but introduces additional functionality including non-disruptive rolling upgrades, VM thin cloning, VM level replication, VM level snapshots, an entirely redesigned UI with tagging included, uh, import and export functionality, new HC series nodes including the HC4000, HC4100, and much, much more. HyperCore has now been shipping on new scale HC3 systems for over 17 months and we're currently in the 6.2 version, which is the fifth significant release of new HyperCore functionality since inception. The next wave of significant enhancements will be coming soon and once again will be made available through uh, the user interface to all HyperCore users and a non-disruptive rolling upgrade. Hundreds of HC3 clusters are using HyperCore in the field today and will soon have migrated over 100 legacy ICOS based clusters to HyperCore, all with near zero downtime in the transition. In this video, I'll be highlighting just a couple of the new features mentioned uh, just as an introduction to HyperCore. Uh, first thing I'd like to point out is just the, the newly uh, redesigned uh, user interface. HyperCore version 6 and above uses our completely redesigned UI purpose-built for ease of use. It's designed to take all the tasks of managing your VMs and put them into a, a very consumable format at your fingertips for making your, your environment easier to manage than ever. So to highlight this, let's quickly create a virtual machine. Notice that there aren't several steps to go through here, just a single dialog. I'll go ahead and create the virtual machine name, give it a description. Uh, here's the first introduction of tagging within the system. Uh, so I'll assign this to the test tag, which is just a logical grouping of virtual machines in the user interface. You can also search based on this same tagging functionality to, to bring up a group of VMs, and I'll, I'll highlight that here in a second. Uh, next, select my operating system, You know whether or not I want to make use of performance drivers, uh, set the number of, of CPU uh, cores needed, the, the virtual machine footprint, uh, in my Windows world, this is my C drive. I can, of course, add additional drives here, similar to ICOS, um, and then finally select my ISO. Click Create. We'll go over here to the search field and just find the VM we've just created. And, of course, this is immediately bootable and ready to run on, on HC3. In addition to the tagging that we just shown off and kind of this newly uh, redesigned UI, uh, some of the other functionality that's included in HyperCore is the new cloning technology. So it essentially takes a space efficient, immediately bootable thin clone in, in really just a matter of seconds. Let's demonstrate that here by clicking the clone button. And again, I'll just give it a name and a description and click clone. And you'll see that um, quickly be made available to me to, to boot up on the system. Um, Again, uh, data is shared really between this original VM and the thin clone that I've just created here. Uh, no additional space is consumed on the cluster in that clone process. The clone's also, you know, its own unique separate entity so that I can delete the source, I can delete snapshots from the source or the target uh, with no, you know, interaction or interdependence between that. Again, this is, you know, fully uh, available to be, to be booted up immediately. Uh, cloning is actually based on our VM level snapshot functionality, which was introduced in HyperCore as well. This provides a near instant VM level snapshot that efficiently tracks the blocks unique to each snapshot. Uh, it's non disruptive at the time of taking a snapshot, so I can, you know, kind of quickly take a snapshot here, give it a label, click snapshot. I can do that on the sort or on the cloned VM. I can do that on the original VM, um, and again, it's it's you know non disruptive. It's not going to have any performance at their performance impact at the time I'm taking the snapshot or any ongoing performance impact uh, and can even save up to you know five thousands of uh, snapshots per VM you just simply clone that snapshot from the uh, from the VM to, to start that given snapshot at that point in time um, also making use of that snapshot feature is the hypercore uh, replication uh, functionality and hypercore you know supports you know setting this up in a very easy to use fashion, you essentially just have to have a secondary HyperCore site at a different location. Could actually be local, but uh, set it up at a secondary or off-site HyperCore cluster provides a peace of mind knowing that your DR needs are met. You can actually set up replication fairly simply by uh, pointing your cluster to that secondary um, site, hitting replicate, and 
essentially we'll take a kind of roughly every five minute schedule, take another snapshot and send those block differences from site uh, A to that secondary site. Uh, if when you're ready to, uh, you know, if you happen to have a disaster and you need to spin up the VMs at a secondary site, that clone process that we just walked through on the demo to demo clone is exactly what you do at your DR site to spin up a new VM. To see more in-depth videos about the new features in HyperCore, please visit scalecomputing.com and access our resources page. There's a lot of great information there. To speak with someone directly about the near zero downtime upgrade of your existing ICOS cluster to HyperCore, please email services at scalecomputing.com or just respond back to the person who sent you this video. Be happy to help.